Hey everyone, today we're talking about the circular flow model in Minecraft. But first, vocab. There are three factors of production. Land, like the natural resources around us. Labor, like paid labor. And capital, the things that go into making goods. Additionally, there are households that are consumers, like a family or individual. And there's the firm, the privately owned organizations that sell goods to households. So, let's say you're a household that wants to buy something, but you don't have the money. Luckily, you own the factors of production, and to buy that perfect decorative vase for your house, you can provide labor to our friendly neighborhood multinational corporation Target. So, let's commute to work quickly. Now that you're at work, you can do your job stocking shelves to buy a nice vase for your house. With a hard day's work put in, you've earned that sweet paycheck, and you can now buy that vase for your house. What's just been demonstrated here is called circular flow. Households provide the factors of production, like labor, in exchange for money. Then, when businesses have those factors of production, they can provide the goods and services, like the vase in this example. And thus, the households give back that money that they earn from their labor in exchange for the vase. And thus, the circle keeps on going as consumers want more goods and businesses need more factors for production. Exchanging the factors of production for money is known as the market for resources, while exchanging that money for goods and services is the market for goods and services. Now, doesn't that vase look nice in our house? See you next time, and don't forget to save some of your paycheck.